So, uh, Star Scorecard 5.9b. We're only going to have one video for this uh, cheat code. There's going to be three practice problems. But one video, three practice problems. What's the what's the, the the cheat code? What are we doing here? So we're representing discrete paired data. So paired data because the x value and the y value are paired. So this is graphing. This is coordinate plane. Okay, check it out on a scatter plot. The reason that it's discrete means that there's no line. It's not connected. Okay, it's not just. It's not like we have to draw a line. That that's that's no. There's no line. It's all just individual points. And the reason that we use a scatter plot in real life is to see patterns. It just shows patterns. It's a way to give a whole bunch of data in one place, and then you can see an overall pattern or or trend. Okay. So um, other vocab in this we talked about, not necessarily for this tick, but for A and C. This is a bar graph and a dot plot. All right. Scatter plot. We're sticking with scatter plots right now. Stem and leaf is is not this this tick. X value, Y value, and you look. So these two work together. So we can see a trend, right? And overall, if we look at all the data at the end, it's kind of a general gist like this, right? It's trending upward. The more that you weigh, the taller you're going to be. Or the taller you are, the more you're going to weigh. Okay. Number one. The table shows the number of pages that a printer can print using different numbers of ink cartridges. Okay. So if you have one cartridge, 700 pages. Two cartridges, 1,400 pages. Four cartridges, 2,800 pages, okay? So this is kind of cool. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show you guys y equals x times 700, okay, or 700x. Okay, look at this. We can call this an x value, and this is a y value. Okay, this is cool. So 1, 700, 2, 1400, 3, and notice it's just if I multiply 1 times 700, I get 700. 2 times 700, 1400. 4 times 700, 2800. That's a different teak, but it's cool. I want to show you that it works together. Uh, so let's, let's, let's point these. 1, okay, it's, look at this, 500, 1000, 1500. So it's going in multiples of 500. So it's going to be a little bit, eh, maybe. So yeah, let's say that's 700, okay. Two and 1400, okay. It's just under the line, right? Because here's the line, it's just under. That seems right. And then three is gonna be, what's three times seven? It's 2100. Three, okay, it's just over the line. Perfect. And then four times 2800, because here's 3000 and 2500. That's it. That's a, A is our answer. Let's look at B. One, oh, it's 500. That is not accurate because it's, it's right on the intersection. Two is 1,000. No, 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 no. Three, so B is wrong. One, 700, okay, maybe. Two times, eh. look at this. Three is not quite 2,100. Right? So it's it's not like you could maybe argue for one and two. Let's look at number four. Four is oh here's twenty five hundred and it's less than. So no. Two four is twenty eight hundred, which is more than twenty five hundred. So it is A. It's not B, not C. Be careful. Be careful because you could argue with some of these, but one of the points is gonna be clear as day. Okay. And so you got to graph all of them to make sure. Number two, the table shows the amount uh, of time eight thunderstorms lasts and the amount of time, amount of rainfall each thunderstorm produced. Okay. So there's eight. Oh, I'm sorry. There's eight thunderstorms. How long was the thunderstorm and how much rain? So here's a scatter plot. Okay. Just, just like I was saying, you're comparing two different variables, the amount of time and the amount of rain. Okay? So, um, there we go. Which, 
which uh, table, which scatter plot is accurate with the table shown? One, five. Let's do that. Okay, this is amount of time, our x value and our y value. Look, hours and time is on the x. Here's our x and here's our y. Okay, one, five. One, five. Okay. What is this? Oh, and one, four. And one, four. Look, one, five and one, four. Okay? So we have one, four and one, six. You see how six? I don't see a one, six. So this is wrong. One, four and one, five. Because look, two, four, six, eight. So in the middle of four and six is five. So that's accurate. Okay, and then look, one, four, and five. Okay, we're good. We're good there. Two, eight. Let's go. Two, eight. Okay, look, two, eight, two, six, and two, ten. Two, eight, six, and ten. That's accurate. That's a, we're still good. Two, eight, two, six, and two, ten. Two, eight, Six and ten. We're good there. All three are still in the running. So we'll check these off. Okay, three, eleven, and three, eight. Three, eight, and three, eleven. Because look, ten, eleven, twelve. So three, eight, three, eleven. Uh uh, that's fourteen. That's three, fourteen instead of four, fourteen. So this one is should be. Here. So that is wrong. 3, 8, and where's our 3, 11? 3, 11 should be here. That's wrong. Our answer is A. Okay, and then 4, 14. Let's, let's look at it. 4, 14, 4, 14. There we go. S graphing tables, applying a table to a graph. Mark up your test. Use your pencil, use your highlighter, use your colors, draw. So this is the last question of the video. Um, and we'll, we'll, let me erase, we'll get started. Okay. The table shows the high temperature and the numbers of snow cones. I guess it makes sense, right? The hotter, the more snow cones. We'll find out. Uh, this table shows the high temperatures and the number of snow cones sold at a snack bar on seven days. Okay, number sold and the temperature. So there's seven points, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Makes sense, okay. So there's seven points and each point is comparing the temperature X value. So here's our X value and here's our Y value. Number sold. So these are coordinates. These are graphing coordinates, okay? So, 92, so we just have to, we have to graph it. Let's just graph it all and see which one is accurate. Okay, 92 and 25. 92, 25. Perfect. Check. 92, 25. 20, 25, 30. All right. 92 and 31, no, it should be right here. That one's wrong. Okay, so we're, we're, we're between A and B now. 85 and 30. 85, 84, 85, 86, right? So 85 and 30, that is accurate. 85 and 30. Okay, 90 and 28, 90, okay, just under 30, that's right, 90, oh, this is showing us 30 right in the middle, 90, okay, so that one is, this is correct, this is, this is correct, but it's, we'll just keep going, 87 and 22, 87, 22, okay, so just above, 87, and that's 20. That's right on the line 20. That's not accurate. A is our answer. Okay. This is it, guys. Uh, you got to go slow. You got to look at the details. Okay. 
It's just above the line. It's right on the line. It's right on the line. It, nah, we can't, we can't do that. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys are enjoying these films. See you next time.